Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Today we are going to make a slideshow to put on the home page of the website about ourselves. And I'm going to start out in one of your favorite programs. Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, Photo Booth. You'll notice I've got my uh, the folder for my website selected on my desktop. That's the folder with your name. Inside there, I went to my image folder and I want to align this so that I can see it while I'm in photo booth and I'm just gonna pick out four random photographs of myself there's a kinda silly one, let's throw that in there that's three and that's gonna be number four and then I know how much you love photo booth but that's all we're gonna do in there today so we're gonna close that Again, if you were confused about where that went, this is on my desktop. I went into the folder for my website. Then I went into my image folder, and I threw these four photographs in there. The next thing I'm going to do is rename them. Um, really don't like to have spaces in the names of uh, files used on the web. So I'm going to select this and put S1 for slideshow. I'm going to select the next photograph and call this S2 and just keep going down the line S3 make sure you have the dot JPG on the end we need to have that and then this last one is S4 so I've got four new photos in here S1, 2, 3, and 4 right here so these are new photographs that I've put into my uh, into my image folder now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go to flash so if you don't have flash open already go ahead and open it up as always when we're starting something new in flash on the center column, which is called Create New, we're going to choose the second choice down, which is ActionScript 2.0. I'm going to click on that. And it takes it a second to actually create the file. As always, we're going to need the toolbar. We are going to need the properties panel. We are going to need the align panel. We are going to need the library. Okay? So if you don't have any of those open you can click on window and there they all are timeline tools library align I also have transform because I use that pretty often now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the size of this file I want it to be 420 and then I'm going to hit tab and it immediately selects the height which I'm going to put in at 315 so these are going to be the dimensions of this file 420 by 315 then I am going to click OK and at this point I'm going to go ahead and save this file I'm going to hit Apple S to save and then this little window comes up uh, if yours is minimized like this, where you can't really choose where it's going, you open this up. And I'm just going to call this slide, because this is a slideshow we're making. I'm going to go into the folder with my name, into my image folder, and save it right there. Click Save. And I know I saved it because I now see the name is right here, and there's no little asterisk. The next thing I'm going to do is import those four photographs to my library. I'm going to click on File, go down to Import, and choose Import to Library. And it already went directly to my image folder because I've been in here before, but if you happen to have gone somewhere else, you just want to navigate to your desktop, click on the folder with your name, go to your image folder and then I'm gonna click on S1 and I'm gonna hold down shift and click once on S4 so that I see all four of these files are selected and then I'm gonna choose import to library 
and it takes it a moment or two and then they pop up over here if I click once on them one at a time like this I can see that they show up okay at this point I only have one layer which is where we want to begin and I only have one keyframe and right now it's blank I can tell it's blank because it's an empty circle for a keyframe right there and there's nothing in my stage I'm gonna grab S1 and I'm gonna drag it over here and it's way too big but this is gonna be easy to take care of I wanna make sure to stage on my align panel is selected I can tell it's selected because it's dark and then down here at the bottom left there's a choice that says match size and I'm gonna choose to match the width and the height and now the size is correct but I can tell down at the bottom and to the left side that it's not centered on my stage so I'm going to choose a line center that's the horizontal center and a line center here which is the vertical center so now this is perfectly aligned onto uh, onto my stage um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I want to turn this into a symbol because I need it to be able to fade in and out and right now if I, if I have it selected I can tell it's selected because it has the gray bar around if I click off the gray bar goes away and my properties panel just gives me information about my document but if I click on the picture once and look at the property panel I can see this is what's called a bitmap it's just a an image um, that's a type of image I want to turn it into a symbol so that I can get it to do some cool things in flash so I'm gonna with, with it selected so make sure you have it selected I'm gonna click on modify convert to symbol and I'm just gonna call it symbol one that's fine I want it to be a graphic that's fine I wanna make sure the registration point is in the center that's fine all this stuff down below I don't really care about you may not even see it it looks like that um, if you or not seeing that information then I'm just gonna click OK and what immediately changed was it no longer had a gray no longer has a gray bar around it now it has that blue line around the outside and if I look down on my properties panel instead of saying it's a bitmap it now says that it is a graphic symbol called symbol one which is exactly what we want now we're gonna do some right clicking and if you're not familiar with right clicking on your mouse you can uh, call me over and I'll show you how to do it but these mice that you use have two sides to them I am gonna right click on frame 40 not below frame 40 and not actually on the number but in layer 1 remember right now we only have one layer called layer 1 and when we add keyframes we have to click in the layer so right on that frame the frame right under the number 40 I'm gonna right click and then I am gonna come down I'm not choosing insert frame I need to choose insert keyframe it's very important to choose keyframe and I know I inserted a keyframe because I see a dot so now I've got a keyframe here and I've got a keyframe here and right now they're both identical 